Goodbye by Zaid Valroa. Twilight stared at the cup of hot chocolate in front of her. Steam gently rose from it, forming random shapes in the air as it ascended. Sitting across from her, a pink earth mare sat immobile in a, on a chair inside of Sugar Cube Corner, looking down at the floor. The air around them was tense and hung heavy with unspoken words. The sunbeams filtered through the curtains of the shop and bathed the room with its orange glow. Twilight felt almost as if time itself stopped. Illusion broke only by the sound of the clock on the wall ticking the seconds away. I wish you had said something, Pinky, Twilight said, breaking the silence. Back then, I mean... Twilight's gaze remained fixed on the cup of half chocolate, not daring to look at the pink mare in front of her. If you had told me what was wrong, I could have at least tried to solve it. I mean, we could have tried to solve it, Twilight said, as she raised a hoof and rested it on top of the table next to the cup. We could have sought help, professional help, from ponies who know how to deal with these kind of situations. Twilight stopped to bite her quivering lip. Her hoof moved closer to the cup and was now gently caressing its side. Maybe things could have returned to the way they were before. Twilight mused, her eyes still fixated on the cup. Her grip on the cup tightened, but she didn't try to rise it. She contented herself with the feeling of the warmth of the hot chocolate through the cup. But that wouldn't have worked right. Twilight said, finally looking up. Pinkie Pie sat in front of her, both of her front hooves resting on the edge of the table. Her arms were hanging limply from her sag shoulders. Her visage was crestfallen, with an odd mix between deep sadness and regnation on her. Her mane, while still curly and bright, lacked that volume that made every pony think of cotton candy, and the moist surface of her eyes. Her deep blue eyes glistened under the light of the sun. Overall, her look was radically different from the usual bouncy and cheery aura the party pony emanated. It wouldn't have made a difference, would it if? Twilight whispered as she stared at the mare across from her. Once it happens, things can never go back to the way they were. Twilight's eyes scanned the mare, looking for any signs of acknowledgement on her part, only to find none. She bit her lip again and stared down at the cup, almost as if she was trying to blame the steam coming from it for the stinging sensation in her eyes. I... Twilight started, but stopped, abruptly due to the lump on her throat. I just wish you had... you had said... said something... Twilight said, choking up. Right now, too, I... I just wish you would have... You would say something to me. That opened the floodgates, and tears began to flow freely from her eyes. Twilight sat on the wooden chair of Sugar Cube Corner, crying her heart out while Pinkie Pie looked at her from the other end of the table. Why, Pinkie? Twilight whispered. Twilight, dear, are you all right? Mrs. Cake said, leaning towards Twilight. The unicorn had been so engrossed at what she had been saying that she didn't realize the sound of her sobs would draw the attention of the mare behind the counter. Uh, yes, Mrs. Cake, I'm all right, Twilight said, rubbing her eyes. Mrs. Cake stared at Pinky's direction before looking back at Twilight. All right, dear, but... Call me if you need anything, will you? Twilight nodded a couple of times before taking a deep breath and replying to the mare. Sure, Mrs. Cake. Twilight gave Mrs. Cake a smile. A smile that wasn't like the one she used to smile. A smile that didn't quite reach her eyes. Mrs. Cake didn't make any comment on that. Instead, she just returned Twilight's smile and turned around. Let me know if you need anything, she said as she trotted towards the kitchen. And as she left, silence took over once again. Twilight raised her other hoof, intently stretched it towards Pinkie Pie, 
But once the pink pony saw what she was doing, the unicorn withdrew her hoof immediately. Sorry, she said as she grabbed the cup of hot chocolate with both of her hooves and remained silent as she took a small sip from it. You know, Twilight said, still holding the cup in front of her muzzle. Rarity had started making wedding plans behind her backs. Pinkie Pie blinked a couple of times and looked down. Don't think much of it. That's how Rarity is, I mean. She's always been so passionate about romance. <laughs> Twilight said, letting out a sad laugh. She averted her eyes and looked through the window at the sun, making its way down the sky towards the horizon. Is it wrong that I considered it? Twilight said, her voice nearly above a whisper. She didn't move, nor did she try to look in Pinky's direction. She didn't want to see her reaction. She simply stayed still, looking through the window. It's just that she trailed off. After a couple seconds, she sighed and raised the cup of warm chocolate to her lips and took a big gulp. We were so happy, Pinky, Twilight said, still not looking at the mirror in front of her. What happened? Twilight set the cup on the plate and looked straight at Pinkie Pie. In spite of the tears that ran down her cheeks, matting her fur, was, was it my fault? Twilight said with expiration. Was it something I said? Was it, was it something I did? Pinkie Pie closed her eyes. Did I love you too much? Twilight whispered to the empty seat in front of her. Come on, look at me. It's been six months and I'm still crying like it had been yesterday, Twilight said while giving a shrug to the empty room. Why did it have to be like this? Twilight said as she hugged her herself. Her chocolate wasn't hot anymore. I keep coming to Sugar Cube Corner, Twilight said as she pushed the cup of now cold chocolate towards the center of the table. Every Saturday morning like I used to. I wonder if part of me still hopes that you'll come bouncing down the stairs to greet me with a hug whenever I come through the door. Even though I know that it can't happen, Twilight said. Princess Celestia said that time would help the pain go away. Twilight said as she dug into her saddlebags looking for something. And you know, it has helped a little bit, she continued, as she took out some golden coins and set them over the table. Although, that doesn't mean I miss you any less. She stepped from the chair and walked towards the other side of the table. She looked at the empty chair and couldn't help but think back to all the laughs, all the parties, the cakes, the songs, the adventures, the hugs, the kisses, and the pony with whom she had shared so much. I love you, Pinkie Pie. I loved you, and I always will. Twilight said to the empty space above the chair before turning around and trotting towards the exit of Sugar Cube Corner. See you next Saturday, Twilight whispered as she closed the door behind her.